Reno Keith. Played neatly into the path of Stonebridge. Phillips to his right, Hodges to his left. Won't look for the shot himself. And Stonebridge just sizing up the options then. Martin Phillips away to his right. Lee Hodges making a little run to his left, but saw the gap opening up. Another try from there. Paul Watton then with the free kick. With it in towards Coughlin. And the Irishman gets his sixth goal of the season. Well, that was all about power and determination from Coughlin then. A lovely free kick from his fellow central defender. Nothing was going to stop Graham Coughlin getting to it. And he planted it firmly past Andy Woodman. Stonebridge. Worrell. Crossed in deep. And that is number two. Lee Hodges up with a header. And again, the grace of bravery and determination and the cross coming from the right hand side by David Worrell this time similar sort of result though good firm header from Hodges Woodman given no chance well, that's two goals in three minutes for Argyle Lee Hodges getting in for his fourth of the season for Argyle and they really do look to be in control now The pressure. Now winning a lot of the headers. Marino Keith with a long range effort. Which has Woodman stretching. Well, maybe he's better from that distance. That one was definitely on target. Only 25, nearly 30 yards out. And Woodman having to stretch to turn it over the top. In our goal with just about everyone back. And Stonebridge just making his way into the penalty area. Whitehead with the free kick towards the far post. Oh, planted into the corner by David Morley. Well, Oxford have a goal back. With need to find Ricketts. It's a good cross. Coughlin getting it half away. And Powell knows that he should have done better. Well, Paul Powell had plenty of time then. The cold at his mercy. Somehow screwing the shot wide. Well, that was a real let off for Argyle. Well, he's been transformed a little since that goal. Look, it's a hit Warrell on the back. Powell with a chance. And that's curled in. And Oxford right back on level terms. Well, there was an element of good fortune about that. Oh, hitting David Worrell on the back. He wasn't too sure what was happening. It fell into the path of Paul Powell. He saw that Lario was off his line. Despite the Frenchman flapping at it. Couldn't prevent it from dropping under the bar. Well, what with the free kick? All for Hodges. In towards Coughlin. The layoff. And Stonebridge makes it three. Well, it was like a training ground goal almost, wasn't it? Well, it worked a treat. Lee Hodges curling it in towards Coughlin. Little knockdown for him. And Ian Stonebridge with the simplest of opportunities to restore Argyle's advantage right on the stroke of half-time. Now Plymouth Argyle getting the second half underway. And they will be playing into the stiffish breeze and the thickening drizzle. Sweet. Conditions here rather miserable. 3-2 they lead though. And Marino Keith with an early chance to make it four. It'll come for Stonebridge. That is four. And straight from the kickoff, Argyle restore their two-goal cushion. 
I suppose you have to have a bit of sympathy for Andy Woodman. Conditions not ideal for goalkeepers. He can only parry that effort from Marino Keith. Ian Stonebridge following up, making no mistake, his second of the game. And Argyle now with a two-goal cushion for the second time in the match. And this time, I'm sure, they will be determined to hang on to it. Moody again, all making the run. And it's still in play. That's all between Powell and Adams. There on, says the referee. Oh, and Lario having to make one save and then another. And the second one from Andy Scott was the best of the two. Oh, it ricocheted around in there like a pinball machine. Whitehead's first deflected effort blocked by Lario's leg and as it rebounded to Andy Scott the Frenchman was up again the header over the top Matthew Bound looking to turn it back in again Coffin is underneath it well Coffin ball still not cleared though Powell with a shot and again Lario doing well This is Adams. Now Phillips. Oh, looking to lift it over the top. Phillips has continued his run. Woodman coming a long way out of goal. He's not going to get there. He'll go a long way back in again. Phillips trying to get the cross in towards Michael Evans. And he's put it over the top. Oh, Woodman is racing to get back in again. He wouldn't have made it though. And Evans has been able to get it on target. is Bez Weathering. It's done well to keep it in play. Another Stonebridge. Back for Frio. Bez Weathering once more. Come in this side. And now going round the outside on his left foot. Uh, one day, one day, John Bez Weathering is going to score. Stonebridge being pulled from behind, referee saying play on. This is Martin Phillips. It's just backpedalling at the moment, Phillips trying to find a little opening. He's got the cross in well, Frio! And was that over the line? Oh, the referee had a long, hard look and decided it wasn't. There's Weathering. Getting away from Quinn. Which is rather casual with the ball forward. But not as casual as the defending. This is Martin Phillips. He to drive it in. Oh, Woodman got behind it. I'm not sure he knew too much about it in the end. He to just hang there for a moment. It was a difficult game. There was swirling wind and rain. It was, you know, the, the pitch was uh, a bit fast because of the rain. And, and, you know, it, it didn't help us in any form that, you know, Oxford are a very big side and they work very hard on their set pieces. And, it, you know, they definitely caused us concern as far as that's concerned. But the players come out the second half very much up for the, the battle. And I feel like they, that's when it's a game in the end. Are you beginning to sort of just feel as if promotion might be within no, your No, I don't. <laughs> I've seen football kick so many teams in the teeth in the past. I would hate to, to bring that upon us. And saying, uh, as I said, if we keep performing to that kind of standards and, and don't give away the silly goals we did today, I'm very confident we'll be there at the end.